Today, I will read pages 25 through 35. Please follow along with me as I read throughout the pages. This is witch's work, cried Mr. Greg, and both of them started running around the room, flapping their wings. A minute later, Philip and William burst in. The same thing happened to them. They had wings and no arms. And they were really tiny. They were about as big as robins. Mama, 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 chirped Philip. Look, Mama, we can fly. And they flew into the air, and they flew up into the air. Come down at once, said Mrs. Gregg. You're much too high. But before she could say another word, Philip and William had flown right out the window. Mr. and Mrs. Gregg ran to the window and looked out. The two tiny boys were now high up in the sky. Then Mrs. Gregg said to Mr. Gregg, Do you think we could do that, my dear? I don't see why not, Mr. Gregg said. Come on, let's try. Mr. Gregg began to flap his wings hard, and all at once up he went. Then Mrs. Gregg did the same. Help! she cried as she started going up. Save me! Come on, said Mr. Gregg. Don't be afraid. So out the window they flew, far up into the sky, and it did not take them long to catch up with Philip and William. Soon, the whole family was flying around and around together. See, I could see Philip and William. I could see Mr. Greg and Mrs. Greg. Oh! Isn't it lovely, cried William. I've always wanted to know what it feels like to be a bird. Your wings are not getting tired, are they, dear? Mr. Gregg asked Mrs. Gregg. Not at all, Mrs. Gregg said. I could go on forever. Hey, look down there, said Philip. Somebody is walking in our garden. I wonder who that somebody is. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Let's look at the illustration. Who's walking in their garden? Is it the wild ducks? Ooh. Look at his face. Is he happy about that? That's Mr. Greg. Does he look really happy about the wild ducks walking around their garden? Hmm. Let's see what happens. They all look down. And there below them, in their own garden, they saw four enormous wild ducks. One, two, three, four. The ducks were as big as men. And what is more, they had great long arms like men instead of wings. Oh yeah, look at it. Do you see that? They have arms and hands. The ducks were walking in a line to the door of the Greg's house swinging their arms and holding their beaks high in the air. Stop! 
called the tiny Mr. Greg, flying down over their heads. Go away! That's my house! The ducks looked up and quacked. The first one put out a hand and opened the door of the house and went in. The others went in after him. The door shut. Ooh, how do you think the Greg family is feeling now that the wild ducks are in their home? Let's see what happens next. The Greggs flew down and sat on the wall near the door. Mrs. Gregg began to cry. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear, she sobbed. They have taken our house. What shall we do? We have no place to go. Even the boys began to cry a bit now. We will be eaten by cats and foxes in the night, said Philip. I want to sleep in my own bed, said William. Now, then, said Mr. Gregg, it isn't any good crying. That won't help us. Shall I tell you what we are going to do? What they said? Mr. Gregg looked at them and smiled. We are going to build a nest. A nest, they said. Can we do that? We must do it, said Mr. Greg. We've got to have somewhere to sleep. Follow me. They flew off to a tall tree. And right at the top of it, oh, I see it right here. Mr. Greg chose the place for the nest. So you see the family right here? They picked the top of the tall tree to build their nest. Let's see what happens next. Now we want sticks, he said. Lots and lots of little sticks. Of course, you go all of you, and find them and bring them back here. But we have no hands, said Philip. Then use your mouths. Mrs. Gregg and the children flew off. Soon they were back cry carrying sticks in their mouths. Oh, see, I can see the sticks in their mouths. So they couldn't use their hands because they don't have hands anymore. They have wings. Mr. Craig, Mr. Greg took the sticks and started to build the nest. More, he said. I want more and more and more sticks. Keep going. The nest began to grow. Mr. Greg was very good at making the sticks stick together. Oh, yes, look right here. You see in the image? You see how Mr. Greg is putting all the sticks together to build a nest? Let's see what happens next. After a while, he said, that's enough sticks. Now, I want leaves and feathers and things that to make... The inside nice and soft. The building of the nest went on and on. It took a long time, but at last it was finished. Try it, said Mr. Greg, hopping back. He was very pleased with his work. Oh, isn't it lovely, cried Mrs. Greg, going into it and sitting down. I feel like I might lay an egg any moment. <laughs> the others all got inside beside her. The others all got in beside her. 
How warm is it? Said William. And what fun to be li living so high up! Said Philip. We may be small, but nobody can hurt us up here. But what about food? Said Mrs. Greg. We haven't had a thing to eat all day. That's right, Mr. Greg said. So we will now fly back to the house and go in by an open window, and get the tin of biscuits when the ducks aren't looking. Oh, we will be pecked to bits by those dirty great ducks! Cried Mrs. Greg. We shall be very careful, my love," said Mr. Greg, and off they went. But. When they got to the house, they found all the windows and doors closed. There was no way in. Wow! So now, the Greg family have their nest, but they have no food, and they can't get into their old home. What do you think they'll do for food? 